Hi everyone and welcome in the second section of this course. In this section we are going to have a look at higher order functions. Specifically in this video we are going to have an overview of higher order functions, their advantages, their disadvantages, use cases, examples in Go, their structure, etc. Now before diving in into higher order functions, let's firstly explain functional programming, since from now on, on we are going to use this term a lot. Now functional programming also known as FTP, is a process of building software by using pure functions, by avoiding shared state, using immutable data, as well as avoiding side effects. Now, functions in Go are first-class citizens. Basically, functions are treated with a lot of respect. You can pass them around in other functions, return from other functions. So basically, you can use functions in Go as you can do with other data types and variables. Now, some of the features of higher order functions. So we are dealing with higher order functions in cases when a function can be passed as parameter to other functions. The second one, when we can return a function from other functions, or we can do both at the same time. We have prepared two examples. The first example is when we take a function as a parameter to another function. And the second example is when we return a function. Let's have a look at the first one. If you have a look at the show name function, it takes as a parameter, the first parameter, another function, which in itself has a string as a parameter. And the second parameter is a string. Inside this function body, we call the first function, which in our case is a parameter, which in itself has the parameter of the first function. Now, Printing console is a really simple function which takes a parameter or a string and prints it in the console. Now let's have a look at how can we use these two functions together. So in here, as we can see, we call show name function, which in itself as a function signature, the first parameter is another function, in our case, printing console. What this function does is calls this function with the second parameter. Now let's run it. It's supposed to do what is expected, print it the value of name in the console. So as we can see here, the name is forest. What it did is call this function. Okay, let's go in the second example. In the second example, we have a function get clicker, which in itself returns another function, which returns a string. So as we can see here, what we do in, our, in this case, we just increment the value and return the integer that is supposed to do. Now let's call this function. Firstly, we can assign this function to a variable, but in our case, this variable in itself, since getClicker returns a function, it's a function in itself, so we just call it. So we have already run it. As we can see here, it just increments the value. This function in itself, so the, the specific second case is a closure. We are going to have a look later on what closures are the advantages. But in this case, you just have to know what are high order functions and how can they, we implement them in Go. 